Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough where we only deploy female soldiers. This hasn't been going all that well so far, but we're ready for Operation Lost and Abandoned. We only need two soldiers for that, so that's up to Jacqueline and Sarah, hand in hand, going into this mission. Um, I also haven't added any weapon modifications just yet. Uh, which is because I don't have the research for the modular weapons just yet. So, uh, let's go. Wait a second. This says next squads. Okay. I need to set up two squads. Okay. So let's remove this guy. And instead we have Tatiana. Uh, Tatiana and, uh, Alessia are gonna go as the second squad, apparently. So this is gonna be interesting. So a sharpshooter and another rookie. Because we need to level up those rookies as well. I don't have any other fancy items, so might as well do with this. Here we go. Okay, so two separate squads. This is gonna be annoying. So we're gonna probably drop on different areas. Here we go. The Reapers and Skirmishers have been at each other's throats for years, so we're keeping the exact meeting points strictly need to know. You'll split into two squads, rendezvous with each faction, and bring their envoy directly to the location of the meet. Officially, this city no longer exists, so we don't expect a lot in the way of advent resistance. Still, keep your eyes peeled. It's been about 20 years since we last stepped foot in this place. 20 years? The ruins of Kano. Escort the Reaper to the meeting point. This is gonna be interesting. Because I feel like this is a set story mission for War of the Chosen. And here we go. Okay. What does that mean exactly? Oh, somebody's cooking chrysalid. Crystalisks? I'm for I forgot about chrysalids, I think. They're called. If you are hungry, there's more where that came from. Hey look! The sharpshooter from the beginning. Oh wow. Hi. More so than you imagine. Are they gonna cover us as well? We shall see if the same holds true for these skirmishes of yours. What was that? Your presence already disturbs them. We must move quickly. My people will take care of this camp. Come. Okay, this is getting interesting. It's completely new for me. Uploading the coordinates. Oh, and we do get control of her as well. We've plotted the most direct route there. We don't know much about the skirmisher contact you'll be meeting other than his name. Mox. Mox? Praetal Mox? His death squads wiped out entire camps of my people in the first years of the war. You would dare do this! Pretty sure hands are bloody on both sides of this fight. That's the whole point of this intervention. Reapers are born in the shadows. In the cold, harsh world that was waiting for us out there. We rely on stealth and long-range attacks. And our marksmen are unmatched by even the best XCOM has to offer. Do not allow Dragon Nova to die. Well, that's gonna be bad considering my track record. Reapers use an advanced form of concealment called Shadow, which only has a chance to break after taking actions. Consecutive actions increase the chance of being revealed. While in Shadow, Reapers have increased mobility and their enemies have smaller detection radii. Okay, so I'm in Shadow at the moment, which means that I should probably use her as a scout. Um, let's do that then. Are they all the... Aliens here? ...and dormant all these years. These devices still emit trace elements of unstable radiation. I cannot fathom what they were like in their original... Oh, function. wait a second. We were there, Doctor. You're better off having missed it. This is the beginning of Axe Gold Enemy Unknown. 
that thing lands and then all those people get gooified. But now they seem to have transformed into like these grey husks. That's interesting. Um, otherwise, I think we should probably fight our way to the escape route. Let's just go a bit closer and set everybody... I know she has another ability here. So Shadow and Claymore throws a targetable environmental explosive. The Reaper is not revealed when shooting the Claymore or when it is triggered. Let's put everybody on Overwatch. The Lost. Oh, that's not good, is it? That is not good. So I have a feeling those great things aren't just there for fun. For funsies. Let's have the Outrider Scout ahead again. Volk says I am to obey. Okay. So those are the lost, I suppose. I can shoot two of them from here. The Vector Rifle. And she has three shots with that. Okay. Time for regrets. We are not alone. Okay. Those things. They still look like people. What was human died years ago. Only the taint of the alien survives now. Where there is one, more will follow. You must not hesitate to destroy them. Okay. So 68% from over here. And 69 from over here from Sarah. Sarah has a bit better aim. Let's focus on the high health one and that kills it these creatures true strength lies in their numbers as you can see they fall easily if we are careful with our shots we will prevail when an XCOM unit kills a lost unit with a standard attack that unit receives an additional action point by carefully selecting targets a soldier can skill several lost and still move normally if the shot taken misses or fails to kill the lost target, the soldier will not receive an additional action. Special attacks such as grenades do also not grant actions when killing the lost. Okay, so I feel like this is going to be a balance between shooting and reloading. Because these guys seem easily killed as long as we hit. So I should probably kill them if I can and then reload with her. Yeah, okay. So now that means that I can reload with a final action. And Overwatch are two other ones. So Elena and Jacqueline. There they are. We got a one Overwatch shot. Killing one. How does that work on Overwatch shots? Probably nothing. Do I get an Overwatch, another Overwatch on the second one then or not? Isn't Elena gonna fire? No? These creatures' DNA has mutated well beyond what we would classify as human. Perhaps the result of long-term exposure to the alien radiation from those pods. Though why anyone would subject themselves to that, I cannot imagine. When the governments fell, millions starved. Many fled to cities such as this to scavenge for food. They did not heed the warnings. Okay, so I can kill this one with Sarah as well, since she's been uh, doing a good job with that. Oh, uh, we got a miss. Okay. Yes, it's still moving. It's still moving, Sarah. Let's use... Although I think if I can keep Elena in the shadows, it's probably best. So let's move. I don't think... These guys are melee, right? So I don't really need to worry about cover too much. And then shoot this guy. There we go. And then I could technically... Yeah, I'm gonna reload. Just carefully reload all the way through so we can take out as many as we can every turn and then Elena on Overwatch. An entire city of our own people left to turn into these things. Yes. All we can offer them now is a merciful death. I will go. So let's move her on top of this Van bus thing? Okay, so there's one more lost over there. So if I go further with Jacqueline will probably trigger it. Um which is fine I guess. So let's trigger it. Seems like three more. 
As long as they just start moving towards us, that's fine. But I want to check out Sarah's angle here first. You know what? Let's just put her in the middle. She usually has a bit of a better shot. And I need to reload her anyway. She only has a shot at one of them. And she misses. Okay. Jacqueline has a target for both of them. So let's just shoot. That's another miss. That's no good. Um, then Elena has a 100% shot on both of them. So fire at this one. That's one. Remember, they are not victims. And we're revealed. No problem just yet. Let's fire at that one. That gives us another extra action. I need more ammunition. And then let's just... Do I reload it or overwatch? I need to overwatch. Because there's at least one more. There we go. There they come. There they come. Oh, she misses. Okay. I thought she was going to have 100% shots at every turn there. But that's just a reveal turn. So I don't think they got an attack action, right? I hope. Aside from that one, maybe. These creatures are worse even than Advent. They have no cause, no fear. They simply exist. If we do not defeat the aliens soon, we will become little more than they are. So Jacqueline, go up top with uh, Elena, so you can also have height advantage. And then, um, oh god, I think I just does does this. So shadow. And then I can reload. I don't think I can shoot after that, right? Oh, I can. Okay. That's good. Probably should have uh, used that shadow ability later. Um, so let's move over here. And then, three zombies. I only have two shots in my mag left, but let's uh, make the most out of it. That's one. And another one. There we go. Okay, so now we can reload with our final action. There we go. Dan Jacqueline, please kill that last one. 89% chance. Zombie killing time. And then another reload. So we get another ability point, whatever that means. I think I need that training center to actually use those ability points. Okay, and then Elena can go into Overwatch. Do those zombie dudes keep coming? We risk all this for Praetel Mox? If he is not what you say he is, I shall kill him myself. Looking forward to this meeting already. So the meeting is on the other side of the building here. So if we stick to the outskirts, we might be able to uh, avoid most of the lost. Central, biological signatures are grouping into a singular mass. One closing in on this position. A swarm. We must push forward before it arrives. So we're gonna be faced with a swarm, apparently, whatever that means. Um, I'm not gonna care about cover just yet, so let's just move up. And then see with uh, Elena if we need to trigger anything. She can go into cover over here. I think we triggered something. Yeah, okay, there's, there's four more over there. But looks like these things don't want to make it easy for you. We will make it to your pet advent in time. Okay, so I don't know what... I think we'll trigger them once we get close enough. So I'm just gonna put both of them in Overwatch and let them come to us. For years my people hunted his kind. Okay. For years we survived. Now you risk everything for your dreams of peace. Oh, Elena, you're a bit of a buzz The aliens have been kicking our planet's ass for the past 20 years. You think maybe it's time we try something else? If only your speeches could take down these cursed creatures. So they're on the left. So that's four of them pretty much clustered together. I think one grenade can finish this up rather quickly. Although I might want to save up my grenades, of course. I don't know where the other squad is, by the way. Because uh, we did send two squads onto this mission. Um, probably just put her over here. So she can fire at them. There we go. Let's see how many of them we can actually take out. 
Because if I keep doing 70% shots, I might miss eventually, though. Yeah, like that. That was pretty soon. I think I just need to blow them up. Although... Because the problem is, if I get spotted with Elena, I think she has sight on those guys on the right as well. So I think I should put Elena... She does break concealment if she goes over here. Uh, let's put her... Over here next to the car. As you order, Commander. And that allows us, yeah, sight for three of them. I could start firing at them. Yeah, fire at them with our heavy, with Jacqueline. So 71. That's one. Then on to the second one. That's already a miss. Okay, we're going to have an ammo problem in a second. Headshot one. And she misses. She's not revealed though. Okay. So that means that we get... Yeah, I'm going to have to start using that grenade. They're running out in the open. And there's four more where that came from. Okay. But I have an ammo problem now. How the hell did she miss a 90% shot? We can no longer hide. Okay, so she's revealed. But... We don't get an attack, right? Though their intelligence appears almost non-existent, these creatures seem to employ some sort of rudimentary communication system. Perhaps auditory signals, or some form of hive-like consciousness. Your point, Doctor? The entire swarm knows there is food here now. I would advise we make haste to leave this area. So, I think a grenade, right? A grenade to kill these three. And then clear out the wall as well. I don't think I'll kill myself with that. So there we go. Let's pump that in there. Through the wall apparently. Yep, yeah, there we go. That's all of them down. But I think that also ends my turn probably, yeah. So now we have two more shots with the vector rifle with Elena. So 85. That's one. I think that uh, reduces the distance that they can get to me. There we go. And then I'm gonna have to reload. Yeah, okay. I got the reload, which is nice. I can probably move her closer, but wait. Yeah, you need more ammo. I know, I know, I know. So move Sarah over here. And if she can kill that final one. 73% shot, please. Yeah, okay. Biological readings in your general area are clear. Reload. No more creatures on approach. For now. Then let's not linger here. Head to the evac coordinates now. And reloaded. I loaded these cartridges myself. The preliminary readings from these creatures seem familiar. I will need to consult my records. But I may have encountered something similar to them during my time with Advent. I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if Advent had a hand in their creation, Doctor. So, let's put Elena in the safe area, maybe in the back even. Yeah, let's put her completely in the back. I will reposition. Then Sarah can also move into this area already. And then we're going to have to wait with uh, Jacqueline. A momentary victory. Others are surely on the way. We must keep moving. And then we can put Jacqueline in there. Continue to the rendezvous point. There we go, everybody in the rendezvous point. So we were thrown straight into a loading screen, so I'm supposing we're gonna be looking at the other squad next, yeah. There we go. Looks like trouble ahead. The rendezvous could be compromised. Stay focused. Okay. I'm supposing that's Mox. Guessing that's our man. Well, our contact anyway. Crock saw it. Advent. Puppet. Well, you heard Bradford. This doesn't really x count as a man. 
Doesn't count as a woman eye, they do. They were sent here to hunt. To purge the drunk. The lost. Oh, he was hacking him. He was reading his mind. She is free of the imposter gods. I would give anything that all my kind could say the same. Even sit down with your reapers. Now, we must go. He's really robotic, so he's pretty much an advent trooper. That is now working for us. Okay. Rendezvous with Outrider is further ahead. Proceed through this district as quickly as possible, but be careful. Something tells me this city still has a few more surprises to throw our way. More surprises lists. are the least of our worries today. It is these Reapers of yours that are of true concern. We, the Skirmishers, were created by the false gods of this world to serve and die as their puppets. We retain all that we were and more, and our prowess in battle serves us well in our cause. In close combat, none can stand opposed to us. Okay, the skirmisher can fire the bullpup and move in any order on their turn. Or they can even shoot twice on their turn if desired. The grapple adds to their versatility, allowing the skirmisher to quickly traverse the battlefield and get into advantageous positions. Okay. So that means we have justice and grapple. Justice is probably pulling somebody towards you. But let's move this guy forward. First, Praetol, Mox. So yeah, I can't really do anything else and use this guy, so sorry about that. Don't remember seeing oh, these things God. before. You were not meant to. Purifiers were created with a singular purpose, to contain the drop tip, the lost. We must eliminate this patrol quickly before others arrive. Fine by me. Take them down. Um... Use the grapple to pull a humanoid target to you and deliver a rip jack strike. Um, let's see what else we can do. How the hell do you not have a shot? You have squad side, right? Crap. So that's not good. Um, probably should put her over here. Although she could get a pistol shot off. I was assuming that we're going to get just lost again. Oh, this is bad. Because Mox is in a really bad position here. They're both out in the open for some reason, but... We can do justice. How much damage does he do with his weapon? 3 to 4, so that's not that amazing. Um, let's pull the furthest advent purifier. That's only 73% chance. I'm going to go for the 83. I want to kill at least one. There we go. And then jack him in the face. Okay. Then, how the hell do you not have a shot? Is it because of that big thing in front of you? Okay, apparently it is. So, let's move her into the cover then, I suppose. And now I have a pistol shot. 91% chance, 2 to 3 damage. That should do it. It's time to go. Oh! You weren't kidding when you said those tanks could explode. Careful with these things. We don't need to take any unnecessary chances. Um, I can restart the mission. Okay, we do start back at this point. So, I might have missed that. That the purifiers could actually um, blow up again. But they start in a really annoying position. Because there's no cover anywhere here. So I'm just going to set them up better now. And assume that we're facing soldiers again. There we go. Okay, that's giving us the benefit at least. So that's one shot. Might probably miss. There we go. Very low chance to hit. And another very low chance to hit. If they move to the left, I might actually get another overwatch shot with the sniper. But that was two misses. Purify dudes. There we go. I don't know who she's gonna shoot. On the right, maybe? Ooh, five damage. That's nice. 
So keep in mind, these guys explode. So I probably can kill them with a melee strike and they don't blow up, but if we shoot them, they're gonna blow up. Um, probably on a critical hit, maybe even. Um, I think, Tatiana, you still have a grenade, don't you? How do you feel about just tossing that onto the truck? How far can you toss that? Just not close enough, but if I move you over, do I need to stand right next to the truck? I probably should. This is dangerous. I know it is. But I think I'm going to do this. Move Tatiana closer. She's out in the open, but with a well-tossed grenade, I can't hit both of them because they're a bit too far away from each other. But if I throw that onto the hood of the truck, it's going to blow up the truck as well. There we go. Boom! Is that not not blowing up the truck? Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Um, 35% chance to hit. That's not a lot, is it? So that's grapple. I take a new approach. That is far, dude. I hope I don't trigger anything else from up there. And now I have a flank shot on the advent purifier over there. So... Take it. There we go. I don't know why he exploded now. Oh wait, you can fire twice, right. Let's do that again then. Hey, and there goes the truck. You weren't kidding when you said those tanks could explode. Careful with these things. We don't need to take any unnecessary chances. So let's go into Overwatch. May their lives not be lost in vain. We must push forward and complete our mission. Works for me. Move out. Uh, I'm just gonna move out slowly here. If I can uh, reload a few guys, that would be nice. Especially uh, Mox over here. Okay, there are no enemies anymore, apparently, because it immediately switches me back into control. Uh, Tatiana already has a promotion now, which is nice. I'm gonna move Mox down as well. Uh, should probably be into cover. And then Alessia can stay up here for now. Okay, there is another... Oh, wow. That did not look like that, but apparently they're flamethrowing a lot of dudes. Boom! Okay, that guy is awesome. Should have been a woman, though. So, is... Purifiers may be down, but unfortunately, that was our extraction point. I fear that is not the worst of it. Multiple biological signatures rapidly on approach oh, to God. your position. The lost. The sound of combat excite them. They are drawn... Oh, Jesus. You just blew up a fuel truck? There was no other choice. Find an alternate exit. We will deal with the lost. Draklar. Dashers. They are not as docile as the rest of their kind. An apt description. It would seem the mutation has somehow accelerated these dashers' metabolism, allowing enhanced speed and agility, with a corresponding increase in aggression. Um... So I think Alessia is fine up there, but the rest of the squad might not be so... lucky. Um, if I move back to the center area here, don't have sight of any of them. So let's move back to... How far can I actually grapple? Not far enough. Let's move over here and see if I can grapple right next to Alessia again. Um, grapple... Yeah, I think I saw it. Over here. Can I even go higher? No. So let's just grapple over here. A useful aid. There we go. And then maybe just Overwatch from here, Overwatch from here, and Overwatch from over there. So there's a lot of them coming. So Tatiana misses, Mox doesn't. 
And now we have Alessia shot. And that missed as well. Oh god, is Tatiana gonna get hit already? Jesus. The shockwave of that explosion reverberated throughout most of the city. I would expect a significant reaction from the lost. The only reaction I will accept from them is their deaths. Find us that pits. So, the pistol doesn't spend any ammo, so I might as well fire a pistol shot at that one. There we go. Because that does two damage. I can't see the other ones, though. Tatiana needs to head up. Because moving up will also provide her with a better... Oh, crap. I can't move her up because there's no ladder on this. Oh, no, wait. Mox is in the way. But Mox can fire... No. Mox can fire twice because he... Ooh. Let's put him on the corner. Wait, let's see. Let's fire at the the guys first, because he can fire twice. So if I can just kill off that one. There we go. And then kill... Do I need to kill... should probably kill this one first if I can. It goes up to 4 damage. Yep, that was enough. Okay, so now he needs ammo. And he's still in the way. I'm gonna move him all the way up. Yeah, all the way up. Then Alessia, I think she's better suited just firing with a pistol now. Because um, if I fire pistol at the dasher, that dasher dies. There we go. Then Tatiana can move up. Tatiana can move up over here. She can probably fire at the one in the back there. There we go. 90% shot. Kill it. There we go. And then she can reload. There we go. And then Alessia. 80% chance to kill that dasher. Should probably take it. There we go. She freaking missed. And that means she's out of actions. Oh, that thing is going to hit somebody, isn't it? It's taking the stairs. Tatiana's going to get hit. Okay, only two damage. That whole area is hotter than we thought. Going to need a little more time. Understood. Why did the freaking sniper miss that shot? Okay. Tatiana, hit the one straight... Straight in front of you, please. Yeah, okay, there we go. I thought she missed that one. Move up. So we can actually just all go up. And shoot from all the way up top. 86, 85, 85. 86 first. There we go. 85. And another 85. And then hopefully she hits. Ah, crap, she misses. Okay. I need to reload the bullpup rifle. And then we can kill 100% on that guy. That's great. And then turn around and kill the one in the back there. And of course he misses. But we do have the pistol shot. 85% on the pistol shot. There we go. And then we can use our final sniper shot to kill the one in the back. 95% should be fine. There we go. And then we can reload in the same turn. There we go. Maybe even pistol overwatch. Sounds like the lost are getting a lot closer to our position, Commander. Prepare for more incoming. These lost seem to be pretty sensitive to noise. The sounds of combat are likely to draw even more of them. Think we've got something here. Just need another minute. You have your minute. Okay. So that means we need to reload everybody we need to reload. Reloading weapon. And then put some overwatches down to kill the first ones. The Tiana is hurt, but not down. So this should be fine, right? The Lost Swarm appears. Oh, God. 
First shot is a hit. Kill and then we got Mox's hit. And he misses, of course. And then a sniper shot. There we go, that's another one down. So two kills, and it seems like there's at least seven more. No, eight. Eight. We found a new route that should get you to the rendezvous point safely. The lost are still converging on the area, so make it fast. I'm gonna have to kill that swarm first. It, it might be Mox. Move soldiers to alternate route. Okay. So let's turn the camera around a bit. We have the pistol. And pistol can kill a few dashers rather quickly. I am glad I took a sharpshooter because the pistol doesn't need to reload. 70, 97, 97. But this one is too health, so... Blamo. Let's get those 80s out there. And I think that's everybody with two health. So that means I still have a sniper shot. Let's do the sniper shot then. Uh, probably should go for the higher percentage ones. Although that dasher is really close. So let's just go for the dasher. That's another hit. And then we can get the closest one. The closest? No, the furthest one. The furthest one. Over there. Let's hit him as well. There we go. 95%. And that's that one now. It's actually another one with two health over there. Might as well try that. There she goes. Wow. Alessio is murdering all of them. And now reload. And now we move to Tatiana. Tatiana can kill. Uh, is it the same? It is the same. And she misses on her first shot. And now Mox has shot on shots on both of them as well, but with even lower chances. He kills one of them. And then the last one. My weapon is nearly empty. There we go. We deny our creators. I must reload. And then reload. And then we can start moving further. But I think with this grappling hook, you can it quickly move to the out. next roof. Uh, so let's do... Yeah, I'm going to push Alessia a bit further. Although I should probably... No, I'm going to wait. I just want to check that there are no lost left. Yeah, okay. So they aren't. So let's dash up to the next wall and before we put uh, Alessia inside as well I'm gonna reload Tatiana so we're actually fine on that front uh, I think Mox is also fully reloaded okay so let's put Tatiana uh, Alessia inside the area as well Outrider and the first team should be waiting for you ahead I know this wasn't the easiest stop but I have to believe it'll still be worth it in the end that depends on the Reapers 